Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Bitcoin. We're gonna be looking at the average price of Bitcoin annualized for the last 10 years. Uh, we're gonna be looking at the, the minimum, the maximum, looking at you know some standard deviations and also projections of future volatility, looking at expansion and contraction phases. So we've looked at this before. We're providing an update now that we're a lot further on in 2020. So the first chart here just shows the average price of Bitcoin annually since 2010. So, you know, when you when you look at it, it really does help break things down in an easier to read format. And instead of seeing all that daily volatility, right, you just see, you know, you see these moves up and then some some of these moves back down, right? These these contraction phases. And if we plot on here, you know, if we were to plot on here the 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 one standard deviation, you can see that it is pretty significant, right? The average price, you look at one standard deviation, I mean it can vary by by thousands of dollars depending on the year. Um, and, and one of the things that you, you, you see too is, is you see there, there are you know there are times where it really contracts a lot, right? And the standard deviation is a lot is a lot smaller than it is during these other years where it's uh, going parabolic, like we saw in say 2013, like we saw in say like 2017. Um, uh, but then you get these down years, right? These the, the bottom accumulation years. This was 20. So you can say in this one it was say 2012, and this one it was 2015, and then in 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 the current cycle, uh, it looks like it. There's a good chance it'll it'll be 2020 because the you know maybe 2019 and 2020. These are pretty pretty low. Uh, I mean, <laughs> volatility of course there there's a significant amount of volatility, but if you're just looking at say one standard deviation. Um, it, it's really not so bad. It, it's basically been range bound and it's just been business as usual, right? Accumulation uh, for, for, for years now. So if we continue on, let's plot on the minimum. So this is the minimum price of Bitcoin every single year since inception. Um, so one of the things you notice is that it doesn't move up monotonically, but it almost does, right? So you can see, I mean, here, the lowest price in 2014 was a few hundred bucks. Back in, in 2015, the lowest price was was less than 200. So we went from like 300 to 200, but then we kept on going up. These here are about equal, and then we've started moving up again. So if we also plot on the max, you know, it, it pronounces the peaks a bit more, right? So you see that the max in 2011, the, the 2013 peak, the 2017 peak. And what you notice, right, is that you get these, these expansion phases that are highlighted by the green arrows, and then you get these contraction phases that are highlighted by the red arrows. And then you, 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 you can easily see too, even looking at the data in this manner, that cycles are lengthening, right? And you can see that the contraction phases are, are taking longer. Um, and even, even the, the expansion phases are, um, are, are taking longer, right? As we, as we continue to march through, they're taking more years to get to the peak. So if we project this out, right, we're talking about a, a, the, the next expansion phase, hopefully lasting a few years, right? Where the, the, the lowest price of Bitcoin during any given year continues to march up. And, and, and to give you an idea, right? I mean, the lowest price in 2020 is a few thousand dollars, right? And this is daily data, not minute data or anything like that. But you can imagine, right? If, if the price of Bitcoin, uh, let's say the low price of Bitcoin in, in 2021 is 10K, like let's be optimistic and say the low is 10K, and that's already up to this point. So I would say, I mean, the argument, right, is, is this is we are in the expansion phase. It just it's, it's slow going at first, right? We recognize that it's slow going at first, but then it tends to accelerate later on in the cycle when we go to the next blow off, you know, bubble paradigm shift in the price of Bitcoin. So, again, with with this expansion phase would then likely come a contraction phase that would likely take you know, a lot longer. And, and I mean, I don't know exactly what price would we go down to. Probably, I mean, I just randomly drew this, but we probably would come back down to maybe like $50,000 if we were to go up to 100 to 200,000 or somewhere in that range. I just drew these lines relatively quickly. Um, so, you know, keep in mind that even during the same new, a new paradigm shift at this point, people are going to be saying it's going to be going to a million bucks. Again, this is just noise because there's nothing about the data that suggests that would happen anywhere remotely to it in the year 2023. A lot of people think in 2021, the price of Bitcoin is going to go to $300,000. And this is completely not based on any, any of the data or evidence. 
it's based on nothing more than their emotion and and, and their hopes to get clicks on their on their videos. So stay focused. Don't let the noise get to you. Uh, focus on what the data says, and the data does not suggest um, you know 2021 being being the next uh, blow off top uh, for Bitcoin. So this is the volatility. If we take if we just take a look at say the the percent difference between the maximum price in a given year and the minimum price, and we annualize it, this is what you get. And we made a video about this a while back, of course, extrapolating these macro trend lines this is somewhat dubious. But one of the nice things is if you if you are a little bit um, uh, liberal with, with some of the models that you're willing to at least uh, um, just like, you know, like hear it out or right? like just to just to hear out the model or, or see what it is. Um, you know, you might you might think that, OK, well, we recognize that in one year that the percent difference between the max and the min about 10,000 percent. It's continued to go down, you know, in the last cycle, it reached um, a couple thousand percent or so. Uh, and I would expect it to continue to go down, right? And, 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 and maybe in the next couple of years, the, the maximum price difference will only be a few hundred percent, right? From, from uh, the low in that cycle to the peak in that cycle. And if you think about it from a data science perspective, it makes sense. We've talked about, we've talked about the fact that Bitcoin will likely not get to a sustainable 20K uh, for another 15, 16, 17 months. Uh, so basically just into 2021 to early 2022. And if this is the case, and then it, and then it starts moving from uh, say $20,000 in 2022, and then it, it continues to move up, maybe it moves to like $40,000 or $50,000 by the end of 2022. Let's say it's a 40 to $50,000 Bitcoin going into 2022. And the projected peak is somewhere between one to 200K, then, uh, you know, then, then it just going up two to 300% would get you there. And, and, and that would correspond, you know, if you're looking at, say, 2023, this would be 100 percent. This is 200, 300, 400, 500. So I would say probably no more than 500 percent in a single year. So if the price is thirty thousand dollars, right, then it going up, say, six X or something, it's one hundred and eighty K. So you, you get an idea of how these things could play out and, and, and the idea of, you know, this it could be printing the pattern that we're going to look back on in, in 20 years and say, well, it was right in front of us the whole time. If this were to continue extending, then we would expect the maximum uh, volatility of the maximum or the, the maximum percent difference between the max price and the min price uh, by 2030 to be only 100 percent. So that means like maybe maybe Bitcoin reaches um, or let's say by 2031, 2032, Bitcoin is reaches a paradigm new shift of say like four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand dollars. Well, then maybe earlier in that year, the price was 250 and then it went up 2x. Uh, you know, 100%. Uh, and then by 20, you know, by 2035, or sorry, 2037, 2038, it might only be 10%. So I know it's somewhat depressing, right, for people that would just want to continue to play the market forever because of the volatility, but the market is becoming more efficient, whether you like it or not. Uh, and it's, I think, using this information to to continue making money rather than thinking that it just gonna, it's going to continue to repeat the same thing every cycle. Therefore, you wait for it to go up 100x and then it never does. And then you watch the peak come and go. All right, this is what we want to avoid. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. We do like to show a lot of things on here besides trading view. Um, and, and so we have these custom charts, of course. Uh, make sure you check out the Telegram channel. We also do have the premium list into the cryptoverse.com. Check it out. Uh, you get access to a lot of stuff, including you know weekly reports and videos, an alerts channel, a risk dashboard, and a lot more. So be sure to check out the website if you're interested in some of the exclusive content. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.